League beans. Ding, 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 all the time. Yeah. Hello, cozy friends. How are you? Cheers. Loop. It's a day today. It's a day today. It's actually been a good day. How about you? How's your day been? I hope it's been 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 lovely. I hope it's been just scrum diddly umptious. I had stream today and it was hilarious. Very fun. Good stream. And that's about it. It's just, it's a good day. I cannot believe it's the hundredth episode. I literally, I cannot. I can't. I cannot. I can't. I, I, can't. I cannot believe it's the hundredth episode. Um, one moment. <laughs> this is a very serious matter. <laughs> Happy 100th episode! Oh my god, it's playing. I really don't want to do the Q Beans quest today. Um, we're gonna try our darndest. Somebody said to get the deluxe fertilizer, so we're gonna try to do that, but generally it's okay. It's okay if we don't get this quest because I just want to have a good 100th episode with you guys. And I don't know, reflect on life, reflect on the fact that we've done 100 of these together. Deluxe retaining speed growth. Oak resin and coral. We have those things. I'm going to I'm gonna go home real quick and get those things. That is 100, like, let's say an average of 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 2,500 minutes. That's 41 hours. Is that correct? We've spent, four, is that correct? We've spent 41 hours together. We've spent over, that can't be right. We spent close to two full days together. And that's crazy. Jeez, Jesus. <laughs> what a long period of time. 100 of these? 100 of these. Every single week for 100, 100 weeks. The two, the two year episode is coming up also. There's so many milestones, y'all. And, and the 100th in the first real week of 2023, because I filmed the last one before 2023. This is the first week of 2023 and we get the 100th episode. I just, it's all too much. It's all too much. I love y'all so much. I'm not crying. I'm not crying today. I'm not. For whoever said that I was, I'm not. I have it together today. <sighs> I have it together today and I'm too stressed about these beans. <laughs> But happy 100th nonetheless. I'm happy to have done 100 days together. 100 days together. 100 Sundays spent together. I'm looking for coral. Okay, I have one coral. I have oak resin and one coral. Okay, we have five and that's something. So, oh, I have 10 actually. All right, we have 10. So we just need to find 10 beans. That can't be too difficult, can it? Let's craft a warp totem. I'm gonna go to the traveling cart real quick, and then I'm going to go back to Ginger Island and hope for some beans. Just hit me with some beans, please. Oh, I have more coral. Anyways, just just me reflecting more on the 100 episodes. 100 episodes, which about, I would say, I would say I lasted about like 20 episodes. I would say I lasted about 20 episodes of really giving y'all my best, you know, putting my best foot forward, giving y'all, you know, a general me, not totally warmed up yet. Just, you know, the me that I present to most people in my life. It took about 20 episodes. And then after that, it, it was donezo. It was donezo. And y'all had to deal with the real me. The me who talks about random things, random thoughts into my life incessantly. The me who often doesn't even talk about Stardew, just just yells at everybody in the game, yells at everybody, blames everybody else for my problems. And the me who is obsessed with, with y'all, is truly and utterly obsessed with y'all and all of the things in your life and the things that you do. And I'm glad that I've got to really nurture that part of me in the cozy friends and cozy corner parts of the videos and parts of the week. It makes my week. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm wasting time. This is self-sabotage is what it is. Okay. I'm just, I'm not going to use the totem. I might do that later in the week. I'm just going to go. Oh, I got a bean though. I got a bean for doing that. Well, see, it wasn't for not. Anywho, y'all had around 20 episodes. I mean, some of you have, some of you have binged it recently and so you can give a more accurate estimate, but for sure, max, min, minimum, minimum of 20? Maximum of 20? I don't know. I feel like I got this Junimo around a year ago. Was it a year ago? Eddie would know. I know y'all said to go to the volcano. I don't want to do that. 
I don't want to do that. I don't want to get beans from the volcano. So. Yay! Yay! That was mean. It just was. All right, fine. I'll go to the frickin' volcano. Uh, I don't want to. Ooh, I got a bean from that rock. Well, I have to leave now because I'm dying. And whose fault is that? Once again, it's not mine. Never is. Well... <sighs> I don't know what to do. I got four today. Four. Four. How about fishing? Can I get any fishing? Bone flute? Can I use the bone flute? No. Okay. I forgot I have my horse flute. Okay, well, regardless, I need to plant these. I think I gotta take the hops down. The hops gotta come down. I think I just used my- oh my god, I'm so upset. First of all, I fertilized ground that wasn't even- oh my god, I don't even want to think about what I just did. I'm gonna sleep. Oh my god. I fertilized- I used that good fertilizer on star fruit instead of what I wanted to use it on. And then I fertilized ground that doesn't even have any of the beans. So it's okay because we have some fresh ones, but not a happy gal. See what I mean? I use them on star fruit. I don't need star fruit to grow extra fast. I need these to grow extra fast. Ay ay ay. Okay. Oh, I have a sweet gem berry. I need about I don't know, I need a lot of those. And I need more seed makers. How do I make seed makers? Coal, gold bar, wood. So I have ten of these. I need I need more seed makers. I know that's not a priority right now, but I got one. So far, I've have an I have an average of like one of these. Okay, it's okay, because at least I can get rid of these. No! Oh my god. I'm failing at this. Okay, that one gave us three. That's fun. Anyways, while the seeds are cooking, I'll tell you about... Oh! Oh my god! So much has happened since... Wow. So... <laughs> oh my god, I have so much to catch you up on. For those that, that do care. I went to Vegas. So I came back from my family trip. Um, it was good, except my flight got canceled. Oh, I think I did tell you all about that. My flight got canceled. I had to come back up with my partner in a very small, tiny car. And my stuff, my family had to ship my stuff. And I just got that the day I got back, or the day, the day I got back? Or the day after I got back from Vegas. But yeah, so a couple days in between coming back home in the car, I had one full day really, because we got back on the 28th at, at the end of the day. And I was supposed to come back on the 26th in the beginning of the day. That didn't happen. I came back on the 28th at the end of the day. And then I basically just went right to sleep and then had one day to like pack and prepare for life. And I think film the Stardew for that week. And then I was leaving the next day. Thank God that didn't get canceled. I mean, it got delayed a bit, but not that much. Thank God that didn't get delayed, that flight to Vegas. But Vegas was fun. The first day we, what did we do? First day we got there, we stayed at the Planet Hollywood. I was like super grumpy because my plane was delayed a bit and it was just like kind of stressful because they kept, they kept us like in the, like we were gearing up to go like three different times. So we'd gear up to go and they'd be like, sorry, we can't, can't do it, can't come in yet. And that happened just like a bunch of different times. So I was grumpy and I hadn't eaten and since like six in the morning and by the time I got in, I think it was like three or something. So I was grumpy and I just wanted to eat. And I had one of those like, I don't know if this is like a neurodivergent thing, but like, or just like a, you know, general body, like your body's tired <laughs> things. But I was like nonverbal. Like I just like couldn't say anything. And like, I've, I've only gotten like this like a couple times in my life. Not a couple times in my life. Pfft, it's happened a lot of times in my life. But <laughs> let me get that real straight. <laughs> but it's only happened like recently, like in the past year. Like I would say like two or three times. And it's usually been just like a really stressful situation. I'm also really tired. Like I haven't met my like physical needs. And I like just like shut down and I can't talk. So my partner has seen that before. But like before I was like, okay, like I was in better spirits. I just like couldn't talk. So I was just like trying to like explain what I needed, which was just like food food without talking and like that worked he was really sweet about it and i was like totally fine after but this time i was like grumpy and nonverbal and really needed food 
And so I just felt bad, but like he was also very like fine and patient about it, which is great. Get you a partner that is patient and like loving and cares about you. Um, yay, we did it. Okay, at least we did this one. I'm proud of us for doing this one. 2,500, look at that. And then maybe we'll get we'll get the, the, the thing in the mail from him. So <laughs> I need seed makers and oak resin. Okay, so he was just kind of like, okay, like I, I got to the restaurant, in the restaurant, I mean, in the, I got to the hotel. In the hotel, there's just like a bunch of, there's a mall and then like a bunch of restaurants. And so we were just kind of like walking around and he was like, just like, tell me when you want to stop. And so then like we found a spot and... I was like, okay, yeah. Let's go to the back of the restaurant, though, because it was, like, super... It was also just, like, super overstimulating. Like, there was, like, tons of noise. Like, it was, like... It's Vegas, so overstimulating. You know the deal. I don't have to explain it to you. Just ding, 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 ding all the time. Machines, people, smoke. Like, it was a lot to be, like, already at wit's end and then, like, be dealing with that. But, um, like, we got to a spot in the very back of the restaurant, and then I just started bawling <laughs> i just started crying just bawling my partner was just like so sweet just like there like it's okay like we're like you know we're here now together like we're alone and like let it out and <laughs> just like bawling and it was literally just like letting go of all that like stress and like everything and i was just like happy to finally be like sitting and like where i was supposed to be not on like a plane and then like getting food so i was just like bawling and the poor <laughs> the poor server came up just like um i'm gonna leave the menus right here let me know if you need anything and then like walks off and like I, by the time he came back i was like totally fine i was like woo, 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 woo all right like we got our chips and guac <laughs> we got our drinks i was i was good i was excited i was happy i was like happy to be in vegas and just like literal 180 and the <laughs> The server was just like so suspicious and just for the rest of the time was just kind of like looking between my partner and I like, is she okay? Like, is she okay? Like, blink if you need help. But anyways, I hope maybe that's relatable for some for somebody or I'm insane and that's okay too. I, I can be that. But yeah, know that. Remember like, also last, <laughs> this is so funny. Last episode I was talking about how adult temper tantrums are should be more accepted and how i felt like i wanted to just have an adult temper tantrum basically that's what happened that's what i had so oh my god i haven't checked in here in ages well have fun in here i'll come back later that yeah so i had an adult temper tantrum and just shut down and then cried and sobbed so you're not alone if you too have have a double temper tantrums anyways that's the first day and then after that we i think just like kind of walked around a little bit in the shops and then we got ready because we had a reservation at nobu and that was so good it was so good it was really really yummy hello i would like more beans please Do we have no beans no beans none of the beans are ready didn't mean to do that None of the beans already. Okay, I'm just gonna go shake some trees. Hope for the best. We went to Nobu and then our plan was to go out like to a club. And so that club, I think we we're seeing Alessio at, it was the one, I think it's like Ovio or something, Ovia in Caesar's Palace. Wild y'all, it was wild. If you're an introvert like me, it was not the move. <laughs> it was a lot. I almost had another temper tantrum because of how overwhelming it was and all the sound and the people and it was so loud. Oh my God. But like, it was kind of fun, I guess. I got pretty drunk the first night and I don't really like to drink that much anymore. And so I was kind of, I was like drunk and kind of upset that I, I had like drank that much. And then I was just like, I don't want to be here. But then we found one of the rooms in the club had like good music and not Alessio <laughs> I don't, I don't, or Alesso. I don't know. I don't really like just like EDM. So um, it was just kind of like some hits, a room with some hits. And that was fun. Except they kept blowing this like, <sighs> like all four sides are blowing this like smoke, but it was freezing cold. So it's just like cold smoke every, like once every song. And it was like terrible. I was having so much fun. And then that would happen. And I would like want to like curl up in a ball Um, because it was freezing. I don't know why they did that. I need to bust these open, huh? Yeah. So how much time do I have left? I have seven days. It's just not happening, friends. It's like, I don't, sorry, it's not happening. Like I said, 100 would make sense. 500, insane, insane. Look, I can't even get a single, I didn't even get a single bean today. Oh my goodness. 
Yeah, so that that outing was a lot. It was a lot. We got home. People, whoever we were with, I think wanted to go to McDonald's. And I was like really sad about it. I had a blister. I was like, oh my God. It was like 2.30 a.m. We walked to just cold. It was cold all weekend in Vegas. And so we walked to um, McDonald's and then we went to bed. And I went, I walked into the room and just passed out. Like I literally walked into the room, laid on the bed, all my clothes still on, and just like passed out with like my McDonald's burger still uneaten. And then my partner woke me up and was like, we gotta go to bed, babe, like, get up. And so I was upset that I had to get up. I got up, I walked over to my McDonald's burger and I threw it at, not at him, but I like threw it on the bed where he was. And he's like, what the heck? And I was just threw it at him, walked into the bathroom, like took my makeup off, got ready for bed, came back out, laid on the bed and pointed at the burger. Still, still drunk, mind you, okay? So I get a little bit of a pass here, but pointed at the burger and he's like, you want me to feed it to you? I was like, <laughs> oh shoot. Basically, I was being a child this trip. I don't know what, what was going on, but I was not okay. He fed me one bite of the burger and then I was like, and then just fell asleep. <laughs> so that was that night. Then the next day was much, much better. The next day was great. Um, we got like a boozy brunch, did a lot of mimosas. That's the, that's what I realized is day drinking is so much better. So much better than night drinking. We got like a really good breakfast brunch. We got tons of mimosas. And then I think we just slept. I don't know. I think we slept. Did some shopping because I needed some shoes because my shoes are giving me blisters. So I needed better shoes for that night because that night was like New Year's. We had no plans for New Year's yet. We were just hoping for the best. Oh, this is a much better system. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my God. Okay, What? regardless, details don't really matter. Y'all don't care. We got ready. I think we were also all just like still really tired from the day. So we were like sleeping for most, from the night before. So we were just sleeping for a lot of the, the day and like sleeping from the <laughs> mimosas we had got ready um i wore this like dress i was so mad about it because <laughs> it was like 50 dollars. and when i spent 50 dollars for a dress and i know maybe this is cheap of me okay maybe this is cheap of me but when i spend 50 dollars for a dress i'm expecting like quality okay because otherwise i could spend i could go to forever 21 and spend like 20 dollars for just kind of an eh quality dress, but it'll be cheap and it'll work and it'll be kind of cute. It'll just look a little bit cheap. All right. So when I spend $50 for a dress, I'm like, okay, quality's going to be, quality's going to be there. This damn dress, y'all, I got it in. It was literally like worse than Forever 21 quality. It was like nothing I've ever, it was, it was truly terrible. Like that really stretchy, shiny material. And it didn't look like that on the website. So I'm mad. Anyways, the shape of it was cute, I guess. And we just went out onto like the strip. The strip just had like a bunch of people just kind of like watching because they had they had fireworks planned. So we just watched and we did a little countdown by a bunch of people on the on the strip and watched the fireworks. It was really pretty to see all of them like on the strip. Then we met back up with everybody and went to the Cosmopolitan because the marquee was like this club. DJ Polly D was supposed to be playing. We were supposed to ah oh, damn it. We were supposed to go to his set, but we weren't able to get into like after 1230, whatever like club promoter, I don't know, that's the way it works in Vegas, was getting us in, was like, you have to come after 1230. We're like, all right, we'll do that. We did that and the line was so long. So we're like, we're not doing that. So we just went to this like little bar, this like sit down bar in the Cosmo. It was really cute. I don't even know what the name of it is. I went to this little sit down bar and it was my dream. Like that was my dream plan. Like it, it made me like sad and like stressed to think about going to another club on New Year's. The fact that we got to like sit down at this bar and it was mostly like 30 plus year olds just like chilling out sitting down maybe standing at the bar people come and like take your order at, at the like little bar seating oh my god y'all it was lovely and the bar was so cute it was it was just a dream it was a dream and i had and i wasn't drinking that was the other thing i was i didn't drink at all after brunch so i think that is just that's the key if you're going for a long like going hard trip to just drink during the day take naps and don't drink at night and i think you'll be good to go so yeah, New Year's was great. I had a great little New Year's Day. I want to hear y'all's plans if you did anything fun or out of the ordinary or not fun or whatever. Let me know. I want to hear it. But yeah, it was it was one of, I said then and I stand by it that it was my favorite New Year's 
I think ever besides some of the ones that I've spent with like my friends in oh my god I have more I have more beans where did those come from besides the ones I spent with like friends in high school I had some really like nice memorable ones then but other than that definitely one of my favorite ones because I spent it with my partner in a really pretty place and it was chill and I didn't drink so it was just like it was really nice and then the next the day after Again, we chilled out, chilled out every day. My partner and I like woke up really early because we're just like morning people and went and like got a coffee and a little snack. I think that day, ooh, that day we went to a buffet. One of the things I love about Vegas is their buffet. So we went to a buffet. I'm going to get poo over here. Yeah, so we went to a buffet. Then we had massages. We had a couple's massage. It was so nice. And then went to, oh my God, we got one of those like huge, huge drinks from, what is it called? Fat Tuesdays. If you've been, you know what I'm talking about? They're just like everywhere and they just sell these like huge blended drinks. So I got a huge one of those. It was like 48 ounces. I sucked it down. I got so super drunk and tired really quickly. We had those at P.F. Chang's. So we just had these big fat Tuesdays, ate a bunch of P.F. Chang's, went back to the hotel room, slept forever, woke up. I think that was it, honestly. I think I, we woke up, ordered pizza to the room. We all had pizza and then slept some more. It was it was great. I had, it was just such a restful day. Ugh, especially after the very stressful first night day experience. It was a breath of fresh air. And then the day after was stressful <laughs> again, unfortunately. So the day after I had switched my flight because my partner's flight wasn't until like later. And so I switched my flight because I was like, I don't want you to spend like all this time in Vegas alone. Like that's sad. There we go. Okay. That's all the beans I've got. That's all of them. I'm going to try some, some fishing. I think by this time it was like three ish. Yay. Okay. Good to know that you just pull up a bean. I think it was like three ish and then just like all hell broke her loose so we were in like different terminals of the airport so we were like how are we we came to the airport early so we could just like hang out here together like we're gonna be alone mainly i i was like i don't want to be alone at the airport for that long it was so, it would have been so long y'all because the flights were at like 10. so as that chaos was happening and we were trying to figure out figure that out my flight got delayed and I would would have been getting in at like 1240 and my partner was getting in at like, I think like 1130 or 12. So we were like, well, this won't do. What fish is this? I don't remember there being a hard to catch fish on the beach. Oh, okay. There were no more flights on his flight. And I was like, probably because I just, I'm just trying to get some beans. Plus, because who knows what if it gets canceled or pushed more. Randomly, my partner was like, oh my God, my, there's like a flight. It's letting me like go through with the flight. So we got one. We just bought that flight. And then I canceled mine because I got, I think I got delayed again even. And then <laughs> once we had all of our tickets for this new flight, we had a flight together. His flight got delayed too. So then we were like, oh, like a bunch of flights at the airport were getting delayed for weather reasons or something. Actually, there was a couple of different reasons. So the airport was packed. We were there for so long. Okay, let me plant these and be on with my life. But for hours, y'all, like hours. The flight got delayed again, got delayed again. So we're like, hey, we're not leaving till like 1140 or something. I, I don't know. Do I have any spots available? I can't see is the thing. And I need those. Ugh. Okay, I don't need this. this. Oh, shoot. No, I think that's the first time that's happened. If I lose these beans, I'm going to freak out. That's the first time that's happened where it's been because of time. Well, if not on the hundredth episode, then when? Am I right, friends? Anyways, to wrap up my story, I've been talking forever about this goddamn weekend. To wrap up my story, we didn't end up leaving till like 12... 30 or something we were in the plane they were oh i don't lose anything huh okay do i have a calendar in this room oh well i'm friend i'm good friends with all of them it's okay i'm gonna put the cucumber in here yay we finally got back to my house at like 3 a.m it was not fun it was not fun it was not fun but what are you gonna do none okay we have like one one's ready do we sell the beat do we sell the key beans or do we i'm never doing this one again i hope y'all know that never again yeah so it was a late this past tuesday was it it's thursday today yeah my sleep is still messed up from that it was a lot 
for sure. But I hope that y'all had less travel issues. Let me hear it if you didn't. But boy, oh boy, was that not fun at all. So this is what I told stream is that it was like good bookended by bad. It was like a really fun good times bookended by like poo poo bad times like <laughs> just stress. Not even bad times. It's just like stress because at the end of the day at least I got to like I really hope those are things I don't need. I'm going to be so mad at myself if they weren't. Damn I'm going to be so mad at myself if they weren't. At the end of the day the like last bit I got to experience with my partner at least so we had each other to comfort each other that was nice at least oh i need to go to i need to go back home so that i can bust those open that's what i need to do i'm gonna call for poo have a little gallivant around yeah that's it y'all that's it i just i feel like we're getting a decent amount but like there's no way we're getting them in the in the speed we need and that was just not possible until until we had like a critical mass of the beans. It's all too much. All right, going home to crack these open. Pooh, come here. Anyways, I feel like each new trip tells me something about myself, you know? And I think this trip was that, I don't like when there's, when you're with a group, cause we were with like three other couples. I don't like when you're with a group that like has to do everything together. And this group did not. This group was fine with doing things on their own and then having like a big plan later together. And then even then, the last night, like we didn't even do anything together because everyone was so tired. And I love when people can just like go with the flow. It makes a trip so much nicer, like so much. Like if someone was like, no guys, we have to all go out to dinner. I would want to like jump off a cliff. <laughs> like, no, I'm tired. I just want to stay in my bed. This is, this is exactly how I want my vacation to go. It's a vacation and I want it to go how I want it to go. I learned I need a lot of downtime <laughs> if there's kind of a big activity day. I think those are the main things I learned. Holy beans! What on earth? Well, finally, damn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna explore around here, see if there's any more dig spots. The dig spots, I t what did I say? The dig spots every time. They're gonna do it every time. Oh my God, y'all, Chila peed on my couch when I was gone. He's, he's a litter box snob and also a spite pisser. So it's a, con yeah, it's a combo of like, the litter box wasn't as clean as it is when I'm here, and he was mad that I was gone, I think. So he peed on the couch. He peed on the sofa. But the 7th Avenue sofa that I have, ooh-wee. I don't know if you've seen it advertised on Instagram like I did. That's how I found it in the first place. It's, it's like, water-resistant, and it's, like, stain-resistant, and they just, like, advertise it as, like, spilling soy sauce on it, spilling wine on it, and showing that you can get it out. I got it because not even really thinking about the pee aspect of it. Just like, it's nice. It's stain resistant. Sometimes people spill and it'd be nice. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. It'd be nice to not have to worry about that. Whatever. Practical. Chili peed on the couch and I was like, well, it's ruined. I don't know. I'm going to have to sit here scrubbing the cushions. I'm going to have, like, it's going to be a whole day thing. I just want to, I just got home. I don't want to have to think about it. I don't want to have to. All of this. Right. And oh my God, y'all. Holy crap. If I was getting this kind of beanage this whole time, I'd, I'd be singing another song, if you know what I mean. Anyways, Spite Pisser, Pissy Boy. We decided to call Chila Piss Boy and Azula Shit Baby. I was like, what did we call her? Piss Boy and Shit Baby. So those are the two, <laughs> those are our two cats that we have. Very proud of them, Piss Boy and Shit Baby. Because Azula has liquid poo sometimes. Oh no. Guess I gotta make a warp totem. Piss boy pissed on the couch. I was like, this is gonna be a disaster. Instead, lo and behold, I took off the cushion covers. Not a single drop had gotten on the cushions. Not a single drop. It's been soaking it. It, it had to have. No, nothing, nothing. It did not get on, didn't get on. Now I'm like, oh, I should see about the rug. I should maybe clean the rug because it probably dribbled like down on the floor. Anyways, insane. So if that is a, a testimony for anyone that needs a, a, it is animals that might pee on shit, <laughs> particularly sofas, that's the one to get. Okay, last couple of hours here. Dang, the dig spot's specifically in my farm. Killing it. Now I feel like I, oh, I should have made more. It's okay, I'm just gonna get rid of these. I should have made more fertilizer. I can't see anything. Ah. Uh. All right, that's all I can do. I literally did everything I could do. I just, ugh, 500 is insane. 
Whatever Key wants, I guess. I'm wasting four plus days running around on this on this impossible mission. Impossible to me. Okay, you guys, the hundredth episode is concluded. I would just like to say I love and appreciate y'all so 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 much i say this all the time this episode specifically <laughs> and and all the other ones where i just like talk endlessly about myself and i know a lot of you are like we like that it's cool um and i appreciate that and i love you and not just for that i just love you for making up this community i love you for your consistency and showing up and making this community what it is in such a sweet and supportive place. And every time I post Stardew every week, I look forward to looking at the comments because it feels like my happy little family on the internet. Like it feels like I just know I'm gonna smile like reading the comments because they're always gonna be wholesome and from the heart. And I feel from you that you also feel safe here in this space and you feel safe commenting and you feel safe just like whatever, like adding to the conversation we had or like sharing personal life updates or like offering me help and support in the game, like whatever it is. I just feel it and I feel the wholesomeness and the kindness and just the family-like connection that we all have here and i love that and thank you for creating this space with me thank you for making it a place that i feel excited to come to and create for thank you for caring and thank you for like getting me i think like I think that in making this series, I was like, I see a lot of, actually I didn't. At the time I hadn't seen a lot of Stardew playthroughs, but I was like, there probably exists in the world some Stardew playthrough, but I want one that is special for me. I want it to, I want it to like be my own vision of like this cozy little community family showing up and like watching this journey from start to finish and it being curated and edited and not just kind of like a run through, you know, like hour plus long. I like those are fun too. I like this too, but like I wanted it to be something a little bit different and put a little bit more effort into it just so that yes, it's long form, but it's also intentional at the same time. I'm just glad I'm glad that that resonated with people. I'm glad it resonated with this specific group of people who have been here for a hundred episodes. I can't wait for all of the future episodes we have. I don't think it will be another 100. <laughs> Honestly, I hope it won't be another 100. I, if I have to be working on perfection for another hundred episodes, there's something wrong with me. There's something wrong with me. Call the police. Call the hospital. I don't know. But for however many episodes we have together, I am excited for them. I'm ecstatic for them. And I hope we can continue to have this special little place, whatever that looks like beyond the Stardew playthroughs. And I'm going to stop being sentimental. Thank you. Thank you for being here. And I mean you. I do. I mean you. Thank you. <laughs> because I wouldn't keep doing this if you weren't watching. So thank you. I love that this will always be kind of a little time capsule of our community through the video itself, through the comments, through my reactions to the comments the next week, through our cozy corners. It's just going to be like this lovely little time capsule of this wholesome, nice, stupid <laughs> community on the internet. And that is rare on the internet. And I love that we've created that. And it'll always be here. It'll always be here. No matter where we go in life, we'll always have this. I'm not getting emotional. I'm not. I'm going to stop. Thank you for 100 episodes. 100 episodes. 100 episodes. 100 episodes. 100 episodes. That was my 100 episode song. Thank you very much. Let's do Cozy Corner before it gets any more emotional. Gross. Okay, for Cozy Corner, we have Shark Friend Gaming with a very cute, oh my god, look at that toast lamp, a cute little flat lay with a very cute toast lamp. We have Portable Crush with, ooh, a Game Boy Advance, I love it, a little, little retro gaming. We have Cheese the Ginger, <gasps> Cheese the Ginger with a key, <laughs> stop it, a very cute, oh my god, a little Pikachu keycap. This is so cute. Oh, that's adorable. We have Casual Gamer with a little Pokemon Violet. Very cute. We have Cozy Nostalgic with a very cute greenish setup. I love it. Very foresty. We have Oh Cozies with this beaut. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Damn. 
<laughs> Some of y'all have wild setups. This is beautiful. We have Cozy Nerd Crossing with a little Gudetama. I love Gudetama. Gudetama is my favorite. And a little Christmas scarf that is so cute. We have Okozies with a cute fox vase. That's very cute. We have Torchy. Which game is this, Torchy? I don't know what game. Is that Ooblets? I think it's Ooblets. Torchy with Ooblets. We have Neko Batman with a cute little reindeer mug. We're getting all the residual holiday stuff since I missed it the first time. We have Cozy with Bella with a little switch in front of the Christmas tree. So cute. Cute. Me thinks we we've seen the rest. And then our cozy friends of the week. I have some really fun ones this week. This is cozy cavatappi with a hand crocheted frog hat. I don't know if you y'all watch my stream. I have this froggy hat. That's like a, a little crochet froggy hat. Somebody on stream, cozy kava on stream was like, that's a cute hat. I'm going to, I'm going to crochet it right now. They crocheted the whole hat, the whole hat on stream. So cute. I'm endlessly impressed by y'all. Just such an impressive bunch. And then we have Spartami, Spartami, when your puppy loves cozy games too. And it's just a little puppy watching my video. It's so cute. I love it. Oh, and then we have um, Nicole Peely. The, oh my God, just a beautiful little living room. And they're watching me play Spirit Fair, which that must be an old Twitch VOD. So you must be a patron, a Patreon, a Patreon patron. I don't think I had those on on youtube thank you very much you're the best and i think that is officially everybody it is hi have i said i love y'all i love y'all very much so much it hurts thank you so much thank you for making my week every week with the cozy corner contributions and the beautiful setups and the beautiful creative little pictures you put together and for tagging me in your stories i love to see it i love to see y'all watching and that's it okay i'm gonna stop talking it's been a long one it's been a long one i love you stay cozy bye 100 episodes bye